up, Whitey Nerdigans? This is the one and only Packer Girl 89 and today's Anime Nerdigan Live Reaction video is going to be for JoJo's Bizarre Adventure Golden Wind aka Part 5 Episode 8 titled Six Bullets Appear Part 2 and it should be Sex Pistols Appear but copyright and shit. But anyway, um, what we're starting off this week's episode um, adaptation wise is Chapter 69's adaptation of the manga and this is after the opening song and a little bit of a recap and um, yeah, we're getting Mista's backstory now which as a manga purist, it kind of bugs me that we're getting it now, similar to um, the situation we had a couple of weeks ago. And also, I don't understand why we didn't have um, the backstory before the opening song. Like, that kind of bugs me. But anyway, without further ado, let's get to it. Ooh, I like this transition at the 2 minute, um, 10 second, 11 second mark. That, that That's awesome. But... Okay, David Productions, where's my noir? Where's my cinematic noir style? Like, come on. When I read this, when I read this manga, when, this is when I was binging it to catch up with, um, uh, to, to Jolion. Uh, I, I just, like, I pictured, like, this cool, like, noir cinematic style, animation style uh, for all the flashbacks. We didn't get it um, a couple of weeks ago, and it looks like we're not getting it now. Like, I can understand why we're not getting it now, um, uh, here, because, uh, for symbolic reasons about, like, you know, because uh, it says in the dialogue, Mista's, you know, bright disposition and shit like that, but, oh, man, oh my god, okay, so, we're going into the night scene, again, the transition is fucking cool, but, why isn't this in the cinematic, like, I could, again, I could understand the first part of it, this not being in the noir cinematic style, I can understand that, but fuck, this part should be. Why the fuck is it not David Productions? Also, soundtrack is awesome. Oh my god, the soundtrack is just beautiful. I It is something that you would hear in The Godfather, and that's what I was hoping for um, when it came to the backstories. Um, and yes, I know I said I wanted... Um, and yes, I know I've said that, uh, you know, I mainly wanted a rock soundtrack, but here is where this is mafia time. This is mafia soundtrack shit. Ooh! Ooh! Oh, fuck! Why is this not this is the fact of our stuff? Like, you guess you could make the argument that it looks, it, 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 minus, you know, Mista, it really looks like it is in the noir style, and it looks gorgeous. But God damn it, I wish it wasn't in it. But, like, when the bullet, the gun fires off from the one of the thugs, and also, where's his, his backup isn't, hasn't shown up yet. What the fuck? Um, I really like that slow motion Matrix-esque um, thing we got going on here. It looks fucking cool. Um, and God, the soundtrack is just awesome. Oh my fucking God. Okay, it took a little bit, but now we got the, uh, we got the, um, uh, the backup. We got the other thugs there. They, they came a little bit later than they should have. Um... But I love it's all because of Mr. Simple Bindedness that this is why, like, the bolts are missing. Are, are missing. But, like, at the 4 minute 59 second mark, ooh, ooh, I really love the animation here. I, do I wish it was noir style? Yes, I really do. I believe that if this whole thing, um, or not, well, at least half of it, like, up to where, you know, that night-changing event, or life-changing event for Mista, if that was, from there on, was in the cinematic noir style, it would have been so much better. But anyway, let, oh god, this is so fucking cool. Yeah, okay, I understand why David Productions wanted to put the backstory here because of the, um, because, you know, we just saw, saw the Sex Pistols and this is why, you know, his stand ended up being Sex Pistols. So, okay, I, I will give you a pass on this, David Productions. I don't like it that we're doing this shit early, but fuck, whatever, I'm just gonna roll with it. Oh, and Mista shot those motherfuckers down. Mista is a goddamn G. I love him. And I love the, the, the slow-mo of the bullets. It's just so fucking cool. And yes, I see this. David Productions gives this to us in Captain Tsubasa 2018. We've gotten some beautiful slow-mo in there, too. But, like, there's... Uh, there's the, it it kind of... I'm sw I swear. I don't know if it's just me. But it does kind of look like we're in noir a little bit. And I, I wish we... Uh, I, the only thing is, I wish it kind of looked more cinematic, like, you know, like an old movie kind of thing. And it's just, oh, it's just bugging me. I really can't, it's hard for me to enjoy this part of the episode, like, animation-wise, when it's like, this is not the style it should be in. And it's driving me nuts. 
So, like, at about the 5 minute 39 second mark, we could jump back into page, um, oh, sorry, Narancia. I, I think Narancia was just a little disappointed in all this shit, this shit, and that's why it was facing that way. I know Narancia. I know, it really sucks. But, um, but, like, anyway, the 5 minute 39 second mark, we jump back to, um, where we left off, which was page, uh, tw page 17 of chapter, uh, 25, I believe? Yeah, of chapter 25's adaptation of the manga, and... I'm so, like just this shit right here really convinces me that 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 little that little shit that we had in the beginning of the episode really did not need to be there. We could have just had the backstory there, but with that extra little shit that we had at the beginning, like after the opening song, and to me it would have flowed a lot better. But goddamn it, I just gotta say this right now: this fucking soundtrack is goddamn lit. I love, love, love this soundtrack. And yes, I know it's the guy from Captain Subasa 2018, and this is why I love it. So I probably love it so much. So at about like the six minute, like 10 second mark, I want to say, um, maybe a little bit before that, we go into chapter 26's adaptation of the manga. Okay, let's, it, the, whew, this is getting good. We're getting some good shit here this week. Ooh, the six minute, 18 second mark. And this is when Mist is having his inner monologue saying, how could I have say, said, say something so lame? Love the animation here. I love it. It looks so fucking cool. Okay, we just got our first visual of craft work at like the 6 minute 55, 56 second mark. And damn productions, what the fuck? There's not enough lines here. Like they did not put, there is not enough, you know, I'm talking about like actual like stripes. Like there, there's not enough. There's way more in, um, on craft work. Oh my god. Why why David Productions? Oh my god, craft work. Oh man. Oh, craft work looks awful. Oh my god, craft work looks fucking terrible. Oh man, when you see him again like at the 7 minute 2 second mark and you look at him in, in, in the manga and this is on like page um uh shit. What page is this? A page like 5 of chapter uh 26. My god, does he look awful. Oh my god. This is, this is not craft work. Who the, what, what, what is this? This ain't craft work. Like, I, I swear the same animator that fucked up on the tiger animation and the falcon animation is fuck, just fucked up craft works animation here. And what I mean by tiger and falcon animation is I'm talking about in Captain Tsubasa 2018. But God, it looks fucking terrible. Why didn't we get cool animation for, for the, the shit I need to reload in her monologue? What? Well, whatever. I'm just gonna roll with this shit. Oh, the rock soundtrack just kicked in at the 8 minute, like, 10, 11 second mark, and oh my god, it's awesome. Oh, yes, dude, I'm telling you, this soundtrack, the soundtrack for JoJo has gotten a lot better. Thank god, the guy from Captain Tsubasa 2018 is over here, because it definitely needed this shit. Oh, the music just got trippy at, like, the 8 minute, like, 28, 29, 30 second mark. Oh, this is awesome. And then we got the cool inner monologue animation here, and I bet... Again, a complaint I'm having right now is that I wish it was consistent. So far, there's one little inner monologue scene that we don't have in this kind of animation. But I love it, though. I love this animation. Another problem I'm having here, and animation-wise, 8 minute 57 second mark, you really see it, is the bullet wound. It looks... Oh, the hole itself looks really, really bad. Because you don't see, like, the, um, the depths of the skin. It doesn't, it looks just real, it looks very 2D. Like, it, because if you look in the manga, it looks very 3D looking. Because of, um, the depth of, uh, the line work and shit. Oh, it's just bugging me. Ah, oh, why, David Productions, are you doing this? My fucking god, I cannot stand how crap work looks! Oh my god, I'm sorry! I cannot stand it! David Productions, what did you do to crap work? Like, what the this is some shit that I expect out of Studio Perion, not you guys. Yeah, there's the Sex Pistols. I love them. I love the Sex Pistols so much. I fucking love them. I love the bullets. I'm calling them Sex Pistols because that's what they're supposed to be called. Fuck that six bullet shit. They are the Sex Pistols, and I love them. They are adorable as fucking hell. And I, I don't know why it took me until like the 10 minute mark to realize it, especially here, even though fucking Kraftwerk looks like shit. Um, we've been getting some, in, in, it's mainly in the inner monologues where we're, we've really been seeing it, but we've been getting some comic book style animation, and I love it. I love comic book style animation. Yes, the badass rock soundtrack is here. Oh my god. Like, I love this. I love the composer. <laughs> He's fucking great. This guy is awesome. Oh my god, it's really, the stand name is really titled Arts and Crafts. Are, are you fucking serious? You, you can't use... 
I fucking hate the stand name. I hate the stand name. It's supposed to be craft work, you dumbasses. And fuck, it looks awful. And, and you know what? No wonder it, it's not craft work looks so bad. And this ain't even craft work. This is fucking arts and crafts. My God, it looks fucking terrible. So officially at the 11 minute 13 second mark, we are in chapter 27's adaptation of uh, the manga. We did have a little bit of... Uh, um, uh, appear a little bit of extra content with um, with Giorno, and I don't mind that at all. That that part is fine. You could yeah, fine have that shit, but god damn it, I just fucking cannot stand hard uh, craft work. It looks so goddamn bad. Oh yes, more comic book style animation, and this is like at the twelve minute fifteen, like through the twenty two second mark, and this is like during you know basically during the inner monologue. I fucking love when we get comic book style animation from David Productions because it usually looks really fucking cool. <laughs> Oh my god, that's either a ghost or a sail can actually fly. And this is at the 12 minute 44 second mark. It looks fucking cool. Ooh, the bullet ones look a lot better when in Mista than they do on sail. I can tell you that. It has the extra line work in there. But man, there we go. Oh, this is so fucking awesome. This looks great. Man, poor, poor Mista wasn't lucky. He wasn't lucky with those four bullets because, yeah, he looks like he's about to get a cap up his ass. But, um... Fucking a 15 minute like 13 second mark when we get to we get to more inner monologue greatness. I just I love it. I love seeing inner monologue the inner monologues animated like this. I just wish the flashback was was it um or I should say uh the backstory was animated better. This is it just is bugging the fuck out of me right now. And I also wish fucking um craft work looked better because arts of craft or I should yeah it's craft work. Fuck you art fuck you anime for calling it arts and crafts sorry david productions i had to say fuck you for a minute because i do not like that it's called arts and crafts you did i just oh i just do not like it i do not like it i don't i'm sorry but this, i will say this this soundtrack just keeps getting better and better i fucking love this and by the way before i forget the giorno content that we saw earlier was um and you gotta love live reactions because i correct my mistakes while i do it is part of um is we see it at the beginning of uh, chapter 28's uh, adaptation of um uh, the manga, and at the 15 minute 34 second mark, we are definitely at the, uh, ch we're the, uh, chapter 28's adaptation of the manga. Oh man, I fucking love the bullets. I love them so much. I wish they would have said, put your back into it, boys. I wish they would have said that, but that's okay. Um, but yeah, it, it did not work. I don't think it worked. We know shit is serious when we get that, um, sorry, my camera's being dumb. We, you know it's serious when we get to, like, the, the reverse con uh, contrast, the negative contrast kind of thing, uh, animation. Uh, it's, it's, I want to say it's, like, blacklight animation. It looks so fucking cool. I love it so freaking much. Mista looks, I love the blacklight on Mista. It looks fucking cool. I love it. I love it so much. It looks awesome. Oh, 18 minute. 49 second mark, holy fuck. Okay, so like building up to this moment, I love the soundtrack. It's just so goddamn badass. I oh I love the orchestralness going on here, the orchestral badassness of vastery of the soundtrack. And at the 18 minute 49 second mark, when the sex pistols come in and take charge. Woo! I fucking love it. I I they look freaking cool in the black light. I love it. And we get the cool ass badass rock music. I feel like we're in like a Mission Impossible movie right now with this music. <laughs> I love it anyway. I feel like we're gonna see Tom Cruise just jump in at any fucking moment. <laughs> Not just Tom Cruise, like even Jason Bourne. I can see Jason Bourne coming in here too. Uh, or I should say Matt Damon as Jason Bourne. This is like some Bourne Identity Mission Impossible type of music and I fucking love it. I love the black light colors on, on craft work. I'm not calling it art. I told you I'm not calling it arts or crafts. Even though I probably should because that don't look like craft work. But... And the teeth, I will say this, the teeth look a lot better. But god damn, David Productions. I'm telling you, that animator, that has got to be the same animator that fucked up that Falcon and Tiger in Captain Tsubasa 2018. Like, why is he still there? Fire this motherfucker. He is ruining this. He's ruining JoJo for me right now. Just, and also I should say, just like he ruined Captain Tsubasa 2018 for me, those couple of episodes of Captain Tsubasa 2018, he ruined in this episode right now. Oh, seeing the bullet go deeper into the head. Oh, that was so fucking creepy. I love the 19 minute 55 second shot. I fucking love this frame. It looks so goddamn cool. Oh, poor number five. Like, you're so mean, number three. I do not understand how fucking Sale is alive. I didn't understand the manga either. Like, I think this man is a goddamn zo That's gotta be a zombie or some shit. Either that or he's just brain dead. 
This ending was fucking perfect. This ending was goddamn perfect. I loved it. We finished, um, we basically ended at the end of, uh, chapter, uh, 28. And I loved every second of it. And that fucking driver thought he was gonna be able to tell Giarno what, what was what. And he didn't. And it was great. But I think the best part about this episode for me, this week, I really love this. The soundtrack is just, the soundtrack just blew me away. I really love the soundtrack this week. It was badass as fuck. I loved it. I loved it so freaking much. Um, and I, d there was some really good animation going on up in here. The writing w was, for the most part, flawless. Um, there was a couple of things I had problems with placement-wise, but which I already mentioned. But other than that, this was a really another solid episode of JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. And I feel like we're getting better and better every week and it's really nice to see anyway let me know your thoughts in the comment section below and remember to like comment share and subscribe to nerd against inc if you love what i'm doing and want to contribute to my channel expansion there's a few ways you could do that you could donate to my paypal patreon go find me purchase something off my amazon wishlist all that's in the description box below also make sure you follow me on uh twitter twitch facebook find me on playstation network that's in the description box below as well till next time nerdigans we'll be seeing you later say bye and i'll see you bye